This video is brought to you by the Rwanda Travel Guide, a PDF I created to help you travel and tour Rwanda without spending so much on a local tour company. If you plan on visiting Rwanda, the download link is at the description section of this video. The two main factors that influence property prices is one, location and the other is views. Rwanda considered as a country of a thousand hills and buildings on hills give you unobstructed panoramic view most of the times. Wasting neighborhoods that offer same instances like the Beverly Hills, Bel Air and Hollywood Hills tend to demand high prices in property sales. But the question to ask is, given that most properties built in Rwanda are on hills, how affordable are these properties? In today's video, we will dig in deeper to find out and also explore the best neighborhoods to buy or rent real estate in Rwanda. Welcome my YouTube family. There is no way I'm going to leave this country without showing you guys what the real estate market has to offer right here in Rwanda. Actually, what I want to do in this video is talk about how affordable is it to own real estate in Rwanda, right? We're going to be looking at the apartments, we're going to be looking at off-plan projects, we're even going to be looking at, you know, detached homes as well. So at the end of this video, uh, you should be fully informed as to uh, what the real estate market right here in Rwanda offers and how affordable it is. We're also going to be, you know, talking about, you know, the upper end locations, lower end locations. And then if you're in the diaspora or if you're in any African country and you've been thinking of uh, investing in Rwanda or you just want information about the real estate market right here in Rwanda, this video is going to do that uh, for you, right? And of course, I can't do this video alone. I have uh, Simon from Vibe House. Uh, he's going to help us because I, I don't know anywhere right here i've just been googling and researching and uh maybe you should tell my viewers a little bit who you are and we'll set yes. the base for the conversation from there i'm happy well firstly welcome to rwanda welcome thank, to kigali thank uh, you so much the, the land most of most beautiful hills. place in, in the entire continent as ah, you okay. <laughs> uh, my name is simon sondon i've uh, been living in rwanda for the last seven years okay. building selling property management so yeah. the company is called vibe house yeah we're happy to show you around show you the opportunities we have because okay. it's a land rwanda is not only the land of a thousand hills it's also the land of a million opportunities million yeah right okay Vision City is among the top three most prestigious neighborhoods to own real estate in Rwanda, located in the upper hill Kigali, only six kilometers from the Kigali International Airport. I've watched a lot of videos about Vision City, so yeah. people consider it as one of the most ambitious or most expensive uh, and luxurious uh, neighborhood right here. It's very thought after at the moment, like a lot of people want to live here. It's very difficult to uh, find rental properties there these days. For sale, I mean, everything has been sold. People want to live there, so return investment is pretty good in terms of uh, occupancy. It's very really good. good so. Right. so it's good investment for people yeah, that are actually just driving past. Yeah. <laughs> the 157 hectare project was constructed by Ultimate Developers Limited. Vision City blends modern design with classy elegancy with a breathtaking city view where luxury meets lifestyle. There are four bedroom luxury villas, three and four bedroom semi detaches, and various ranges of apartments. The neighborhood is blended with its own electricity, backup power, water system, private security, and an alpha road with recreational centers. You would find mostly expats and wealthy citizens live here. They only have rental units available averaging about $3,000 per month for a three-bedroom semi-detached. The developers are about to launch the phase two site, so if you're looking to invest in a mini city like this, the contact info is at the description section of this video. This is called Nerutarama, which is arguably currently one of the most upmarket areas up market area. in the city. So you see, there's a city center, Kyobo, and the city yeah. has grown from that pretty much to the northeast. Yeah. One of the key features of the suburb is the Lovers Lake and the Kigali Golf Course. Nerutarama is primarily an upscale residential area, specially flavored with embassies and high commission residents. Let's check out what a penthouse looks like here and how much an off-plan project costs. 
All right, welcome home, ladies and gentlemen. Well, what I can see right here is the quality of the finishing, you know? So yeah. we can see this is the this is the kitchen with a little dining, can see it's six. <laughs> exactly, six, eight if you put two more on the Well, side. once again, you should know this has been staged by them. If you own this apartment, you can tweak it as You can tweak as it as you want, but you said, that, as we mentioned, the, the furniture is really nice, the finishing is really nice. Yeah. And they actually offer a furniture package. So you can buy it, you can get it staged exactly like this. Wow. Um, so, which means we can technically buy it without ever coming to Rwanda and start generating some revenue. Good for Airbnbs, you know. So the dining area opens up into the living room and you're being welcomed by this double volume, the very nice chandelier. I mean, whatever chandelier you put on here is going to work because of the double volume. And then yeah. let's see what the views outside, you know, looks like. While we go outside, let's appreciate the high quality sliding doors. Yeah. Okay, so tell us about the view. What are we seeing? I know this is the popular vision city over there. I mean, there's not much to say about this view, right? <laughs> yeah, it's, like, it's just stunning. I mean, you have the lake of Neotrama uh, right down there and behind is the very famous and now recently upgraded Kigali uh, golf course. So yeah. super high end 18 uh, hole golf course wow. and you have exclusive uh, views right from here. Then in the, sit in the distance you have the city center, the tallest building in Kigali. Yeah. You have to see some embassies around here with the flagpoles and then on the yeah. other side you have Kibagabaga which is where we also go later. Yeah. Um, one of the fastest growing neighborhoods at the moment. Also mm. almost sold out. So I think let's um, go on with the other part of the house. Exactly. Show them what we have a like. lot of ground to cover. Yeah. And yeah. you can see even the upstairs living room has the same amount of light as downstairs Down because yeah. of that window over there. So because the developers really understand that this, uh, the property has a lot of views, they, ha they had to put an extra window up there for you. So even while you're in the uh, family lounge up here, you still have a view of the area, the neighborhood out there. Okay, so we have a, a nice uh, area you can call the family lounge right here. So this is the first bedroom um, on this floor. Yeah. Very decent in size, very modern. You can see this uh, wooden looking tiles on the floor. It's tiled, it's not actual wood. This uh, room actually have uh, a shared bathroom with uh, the visitors. Yeah, with the, with the lounge area. The lounge so area as well. So now this is the main bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice and big. I see, you know, tiny details like first off the screening, like it looks almost very, like it's perfect. You know, you have um, spotlights and then uh, the views coming out of this room is amazing, you know. And the view is the same as from the balcony. So you have yeah. the lake, you have the golf course. The bathroom is of course not shared as you would expect from the primary, the primary bedroom. bedroom. And it looks very techy. It has, is very techy. It's the most innovative toilet I have ever seen. Yeah. So the, the bathroom comes with a standing shower on this end. You have uh, an extractor on this end, your windows, your vanity and mirror. Very compactable, very nice, very lovely. And uh, in one word, I love it. So this particular unit is a um, four bedroom superior penthouse of which very few ones are uh, still available, available. at 266,000. Yeah. There's an option, as we mentioned initially, to uh, buy a furniture package. There's also some two bedrooms still available at 142,000. Uh, three bedrooms at $166,000. Yeah. So basically, that's the price point you're pretty much going to get for apartments in this neighborhood, right? Yes, I mean, um, it's pretty much in the range of, of standard properties. There's some that are a little bit more affordable. There's, of course, some that are a yeah. little more high-end. Um, in general, I think uh, you, you get good value for money. So this property is, I'm going to say, it's semi-finished. So we're going to go to another development uh, that is, you know, still in construction stage. It's Correct. in the carcass, you know, so you see, like, how much you're going to get of that. I don't know if it's a very high end or it's uh, affordable, but uh, we're going to find out when we get there. So near Trauma, then uh, you have a lot of bigger homes. Realistically, the minimum you need uh, to get something decent is around 350, 400,000 US But you also have properties there uh, for sale in way above a million dollars, way above two, three million dollars. That's right? the second neighborhood. Exactly. We are still in your trauma. Oh, okay. Again, uh, one of the most thought after neighborhoods and we are on a construction site and uh, the building is not yet finished. It will be finished end of the year. But the reason why I took you here is you need to see the view. As the I view, mentioned, yeah? Kigali is famous for its views. Yeah. And this building 
just known puts, for the, views, puts right? the crown on, on the views. So it's, what type of building is that? Obviously, I can, I can predict it's an apartment. Yes. So how many floors, how many rooms, uh, what type of units? It's, it's okay. a 21 um, unit apartment building. We have one bedroom units or yeah. had they sold out, two bedroom units, three bedroom units and penthouses, but penthouses also sold out. Wow. So Seems super like high end. right here have a lot of money to buy yeah. properties. <laughs> really, I mean, it's a, it's a fast moving market. So yeah. to all your viewers out there, if you want to invest in any of those properties, eh, reach yeah. out to him quickly. Now the current top floor, but it's not the final top floor. There's mm -hmm. another one coming on top. So in total, how many floors? G plus four from street level, yeah. but because we're on the hill, on the back side where the view is, it's actually six stories high. Huh. And that's how you get this amazing view. Awesome gear. views, right? So, so I could see uh, Vision City, I can see the golf course, I can see the city the center. City center, I can see the conference center as well. You can see the parliament. So wow. You have, <laughs> you have Kininia, Bumbogo Hill over there. Yeah, so you kind of like have a, a 360 view of the city. So I'm, I'm, I'm guessing this is going to be probably uh, a three bedroom over here. Three bedroom over here, three bedroom over there. And then from here to the corner the where terrace. we don't go because it's a construction site. Yeah. Um, but this is all balcony. Yeah. So then you'll have glass all around. You have put your dining table and your lounge here. It goes all the way to there. Yeah. And these views are unobstructable because yeah. we're on a hill. So even if these guys build just as high, you can't get this high. You, they can't get this high. Uh, I, I know something about real estate that when it's been sold at this stage, it's usually slightly uh, cheaper than if you're going to buy it when it's fully ready. So I don't know if you're aware of such price difference, but currently let's let's go through the price point for the three bedroom, two bedroom, one bedroom, and uh, you know why they really need to come right now and key into this project in this location. Yeah. So basically, yes, of course, we, we do off-plan pricing. The prices that I just mentioned are the off-plan prices. Oh, okay. Um, and we don't really worry about the, the final prices because it will be sold out be by sold that time. Out. Yeah. Okay. He's saying <laughs> no. that, you're saying that we're confident. I'm, I'm, I mean, we're, we're uh, almost sold out. So it's, um, yeah, I'm pretty confident we don't have any units left by the time it gets to, wow. uh, it gets to completion. Wow. So. Okay, so for the three bedroom, let's just reiterate. The three bedroom, how much does it cost now? Uh, three bedroom is 255,000 US dollars yeah. at the moment. Um, then two bedroom is 199. One bedrooms are sold out, penthouses are sold, sold out. out. So wow. No, so even no. the, the floor that's going to be on top is sold out already. <laughs> I mean, look at the view from here. Just yeah. imagine one floor higher, even it's, it's just mind boggling. It's just, yeah. Yeah. Number one on the countdown is Kyovo. It is Kigali's oldest and wealthiest neighborhood housing luxurious homes for Rwanda's 1% of citizens, featuring big gardens, massive pools, modern designs with quiet and heavily guarded streets. So you have the old city center, or the, what's still the uh, city center, that's where Kigali originated from. Yeah. And then around there is a neighborhood called Kyovo, where you, Kyovo. Have, a, yeah, where you have a lot of really nice big old houses yeah and um, big plots very green a lot of um, a lot of trees and so on and then um, so this is kind of one of the very upmarket neighborhood then you have a most a more Kyobu, that's where the president live as well uh, yes correct and yeah. that's also where all the big banks are banks and are, all okay. these kind of things so. yeah houses in this area are heavily sought after most people buy old houses demolish it and rebuild on it Finding a land to build here is almost impossible as house owners are not willing to sell. For Kyovo, if you're going to see a decent, you know, four bedroom, you know, home, a detached home, how much do you think that's going to cost? Very difficult to say before because they barely get on the market. Wow. Yeah, they barely so get most on... people that have homes there, they, they own the home and they're living in there. Exactly. Yeah. You can find an apartment or terrace to rent, but it is consequently not cheap as rent can go as high as $4,500 per month for a three-bedroom furnished apartment. There are other neighborhoods that are up and coming, there's for example Kininia, um, so there are still plots available, uh, Ribeiro, which has a fantastic view of uh, all of the city. the city. Prices there for square meter of land is roughly, starts around 50, uh, $50 a square meter yeah um, but prices are just I mean if you watch this video in a year from now it's gonna be different <laughs> <That's really laughs> so, for you, uh, right? this is uh, as of March 
2022. Yeah. Um, and then the further you go outside the city, the cheaper, the, the cheaper it becomes. So you have places like Rosarolo where we have houses for sale uh, for $65,000, oh. brand new uh, houses. So uh, those neighborhoods are also growing very fast, but of course the, the city grows outward, right? So it has a bit of more time. So yeah. that's why the prices are still reasonable. Yeah. Tell us uh, kind of like the price point for this, because I know there's an ap the apartments here for sale, and uh, if someone were to keen to this for investment purposes, what's the like rental, you know, value monthly or yearly, however it is. Um, yeah, so we are in uh, Kibagabaga, which is also an upmarket neighborhood, uh, very upmarket. It's not super exclusive. So this uh, is an apartment block that has been around for uh, for a while, uh, four or five years. Uh, it's doing quite well and uh, very rarely a unit comes up for sale and uh, the reason why i took you here is because there is one for sale so now okay um and uh, it's for sale fully furnished so if you're looking to invest in in Rwanda and just in start making revenue instantly that's yeah uh, it's the most so the two bedroom is ready for sale now for how much two bedroom three bathroom furnished for hundred and ten thousand dollars which is a very competitive do you, con price. Do you consider that um, a very good price for the location yes i think so because so what's uh, what's the what's the rental value? For so for that you can get uh, somewhere around the uh, uh, one thousand one thousand two hundred dollar mark per uh, month. Yeah, per month, right? So we are talking about something around ten to twelve percent return on investment. Investment. Yeah. If you go for short term, if you put it on Airbnb, you can of course go a little higher. Higher. Then yeah. You need to make sure you're booked out. Yeah. Um, well, and then you have the, the kind of challenger neighborhoods, right? That have come up recently where you still find some plots, uh, but they've rapidly developed. So I think the two upmarket one is uh, one is Ribeiro, Ribeiro. Up on the hill, uh, you overlook all of Kigali. I mean, stunning. The second one is Kininia, um, which is very close to near, uh, near Rutarama. Yeah. So there you also have very nice upmarket properties, properties as being well. built at the moment. Mm. There's no country without housing deficits, and for the case of Rwanda, Kigali City alone there's a shortage of over 30,000 dwelling units out of the 31,279 units needed every year according to studies. The Director of Housing Planning and Rwanda Housing Authority said that they will be required to build at least 150,000 housing units every year to satisfy the demand. Rwanda needs 5.5 million housing units to accommodate an estimated 22 million people in 2050, according to Rwanda Housing Authority. The government of Rwanda knows this and is launching affordable projects around the city. A lot of Rwandese live in rural settlements. Many have said Rwanda's economy is growing rapidly like that of Singapore, but the standard of living amongst its citizens is not matching up. So, to answer the question, is real estate affordable in Rwanda? No, if you want to build or buy in high-end neighborhoods, and yes, if you want to build in up-and-coming neighborhoods. Generally, real estate appreciates steadily in Rwanda, just like Lagos, Nigeria, so it's always a wise investment to invest in Rwanda. If you're looking at buying, renting, or managing real estate in Rwanda, you can contact Simon from Vibe House. I'll leave his contacts in the description section of this video. Thank you so much for watching and like this video if you liked it and most of all don't forget to download the Rwanda Travel Guide PDF. The link is at the description section of this video. My name is Steven and until the next video I'll see you soon.